Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? It's Saturday morning. We are here with Viborg, VBFC, why Viborg FF, however, Viborg. I still don't know how to pronounce it. How's everyone doing? How's everyone feeling? I had a few beers last night. Not gonna lie, a little dehydrated at the moment. Just a tad dehydrated. Just a little bit. Look at Floki Anvars and the sexy lad. Ah, oh, isn't he incredible? I gotta do a tweet. I've got to do a tweet on the Twitter about this. Uh oh, we're in some bad form. We're going to take a look. It, it, it takes me a minute to remember where we're at. It takes me a minute to remember where we're at, but let's get the old snipping tool out. Let's take a, uh, a little snip of the table here. I'm going to save that as Viborg table. Sure. Then we're going to open the old Twitter. Oh, I'm so good at this. I could have done this before the stream, but I didn't. How's everyone doing today? Are we ready for some domination? Are we ready to win the league? I think we have the off season this. <laughs> I think we have the mid season break this stream though. Bye Borg table. There it is. There it is. We're live. We're live with Viborg FF and our quest. And our journey towards Danish glory. That'll get that'll get people going. We're live with Viborg FF and our journey towards Danish glory. Will we win the league? Will we crash out into the relegation zone? Stop by to find out, baby. Stop by to find out, baby. I've got these tweets down to a science. Will we get fired again? <laughs> Will we get fired again? That's a good... That's a good one. That's going in the next tweet. That's going in tomorrow morning's tweet. That's going in tomorrow morning's tweet. How's everyone doing? You guys doing good? You guys feeling good? All right, we're up against Colding. So I believe we left it off. We had three matches left before the midseason break, which means we're playing three. Then hopefully we're doing the whole midseason break. That would be the idea. Finances are trash. Uh, Club Vision is going okay. We are in the top three places. We have repaired the financial damage of the club. Kind of. Kind of. Club atmosphere and leadership support going down. Team cohesion is still pretty good. I believe that we have three games until the break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're three games. And then we have the mid-season break. And then we're back for five. And then we go into the the either the promotion playoff or the relegation playoff. Or round robin. Or however it works. I think they're round robins. So Colding and Lingby are pretty good, but I think Fistet at home should be a winnable game. Fistet at home is absolutely winnable. Colby and Ling, yeah, Colding and Lingby are, these are huge teams. These are teams we'd be playing. Like if we make it through to that promotion round robin, these are two teams we'd be playing. We're away against both, which kind of sucks to start the stream with two away, uh, two away games against good teams. I mean, we got to do what we got to do what we got to do. There's no... Wow. Cab circle, dude. Cab circle, dude. I know we have trash facilities, but like, that's incredible. You're awake, so that's a victory. You know what? We all need our small victories. We all need our small victories in this world. I think we keep up the team bonding, man. I think we keep the team bonded. I think we keep... Uh, what, are we, what are we doing in Denmark? I can't remember. What is our team bonding in Denmark? I can't remember what it is. Anyways, let's praise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're training well, good work. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna yell at Sebastian Groning. We're not playing him. We're not playing him. He's disgruntled. He's got a little deli alley going on. I made some tea this morning. It's delicious. 
Absolutely yummy. Oh, that feels good. Inject it into my veins. I mean, we are better. We're way better than the average. I thought this was against um, colding. Never mind. I thought this was a comparison to colding. Turns out it's a comparison to the league, both of which I'm relatively happy with. T, VB is putting the British in British Columbia. Yes. Yeah, that's what, that was my goal, actually, when I woke up this morning. I was like, you know what? British Columbia doesn't have enough British. Lots of Columbia. There's lots of Columbia here, but no British. I'm trying to think if we want to change anything. I don't think we really want to change anything for our for our strategy here. I think we're better than both these teams in, in, in stats. It's just about whether those stats become goals and become wins. I think our team is better than Colding and better than Lingsby. So it's just about whether or not we can be better than Colding and Lingsby. And it's always hard when you're away. It's always difficult. The Lander. The Lander. I can't believe this isn't a named player. Uh, Christian Wagner, how are you doing? Well, you're kind of improving, but not quickly enough. A B team coach for 130 pound a week. We can we can deal with that. That's a good signing. That's a good signing. B team people need coaches. Cool, we got a coach for the B team. You know what? That's great. I was worried. We're doing all the defense training before this match. We're going to be defensively. Gordinho is called up again for South Africa. Are you, is there a time when you're not called up for South Africa? I guess this is an international break. I was about to say Gordinho spends more time playing for South Africa than he does playing for us. All right, we're getting all our coaches, their coaching badges. We have the money because of the Bren sale, although we are quickly bleeding that money. We are bleeding that cash dry. We should get news about our youth intake this stream. Not not the actual youth intake, but news about it. You know, when it tells you what's good, what's bad. Cap Circle has been called up by Denmark under 21s. Good for you, Cap Circle. You know what, Cap Circle? Yo. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Have fun with that. As long as you're not missing any matches. And as long as you're not shooting the ball. Cap Circle's never allowed to shoot. Our man needs like 12 finishing before he's allowed to shoot again. He has seven right now. I like how <laughs> I like how the coaches run our same system in the B team, regardless of whether that fits the players. I guess it made sense. Sufus Burger needs a little match sharpness. The problem is this game happens the day before Colding, and Sufus Burger might be a sub. Oh yeah, we're still better than Colding overall. Our shot and shots per game, our shot percentage and shots per game actually isn't that much better, but we score more goals and we concede a little less. And our expected goals is higher. I think Colding is beatable. I think Colding is a beatable squad. Sufus Burger having a good training week is interesting. I just don't quite have the facilities to really max these guys out. You know, where are we at with those? I mean, they're not bad. I'm complaining, but they're not bad. They're fine. Average and adequate. Like, eh, they're okay. You know? It's one of those, like, eh, they're fine. They're okay. They're not bad. They're not good, but they're not bad. If we make it to the top flight, we'll need better facilities. You usually got to spend a year in the top flight before they even give them to you, though. Fistead scoring four times in ten matches. Cool. We're playing them today. 
Not a single change against Colding. That makes sense, though. That makes sense. I wasn't going to change anything. I wasn't going to change anything. We have Huam Jardi, Pavel, Sonnenberg. We got our, our main peeps. All right, so we are currently four points up on the next team that we have the same games played as. How is middle fart? That's the only you got. Okay, Kyle, you can't be a jilted lover here. You have to love. You have to come around to loving Viborg. You can't. Middle fart's gone. Middle fart broke up with us. I think they're top of this league. I think they are top of whatever league they're in right now. They are indeed. They're four points up. On second place, 1-9, drawn 5, lost 1, 30 goals for, 17 goals against, a 17 goal differential, wow. Wow, is there anyone we still recognize? Aid Sadler, man. Aid Sadler putting them in. Wannabe Stallion has 8 goals. Aid Sadler has 6 goals and 5 assists. Kyle J, 5 goals, 2 assists. Cap Circle Jr., six goals. Jake Fish! Yo! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the Nordic Bet Liga primary. Preliminary phase. Sorry, not the primary phase. The preliminary phase. Where we are up against Colding Idrasha. Yeah, that. Idras Jeforning. That one. Fredericia has a negative goal differential. I wonder if it's like the three top teams have such a huge goal differential that for Frederic, like when you play us three, you just get smashed. But when you play everyone else, you're pretty even. Fistet is bad. This dead is unfortunately bad. Now, actually, I wonder when you go into these, um, I wonder when you go into these round robins if you keep your points or if you start fresh. My guess is that you keep your points. So the margin of victory that we go into the round robins with is important. We're going to keep the same team. We have to have a keeper on the bench, I believe, because uh, Denmark is dumb. Denmark's a bunch of silly billies. Is there anyone here we don't want? I love that this guy's named Shorzy and that I have no idea what that means. I wish Jada would do something. But yeah, I think this is who we go in with. I want Manu Shu guy as a midfield sub. Because we don't really have a midfield sub here. Oh, Burger. But is Burger the midfield sub you want? Or is it the midfield sub you have? I think Manu's shoe guy is a little bit better. There we go. We made a change. I said I wasn't making changes. I lied. Yeah, yeah, I like from Letterkenny. I have no idea what that means. But yeah, Shorzy from Letterkenny. All right. We, we apparently lost last match because everyone's upset. So let's go. Who do we got? Yep on the hill. Clinton Atwe. Quam Jardi. Pavel. Let's freaking go. First match of the day. <laughs> It's a winnable, a winnable match. We are away. BB is missing. I will watch it. I'm not against watching Letterkenny. There's no particular reason I haven't watched it. There's no particular reason I haven't watched it. All right. That's like the 9,000th time. Are we for real? There it is. What? What? He hit the ball. Ref. We are in the mud. Ref. Referee! Referee! Ref, he hit the ball! Ref, I swear. Ref, I promise you, my eyes do not deceive me. There is the tackle. The ball is there. That is the tackle. Refi hit the ball. Don't you dare do this.
He's daring to do this, isn't he? He is daring to do this. All right, we're gonna get a good look. We're getting a good look. Unreal. Why can't I? <laughs> he hit the ball. He hit the ball. I'm watching him hit the ball. There he goes. There's the ball. I guess he does clip his shin first. I guess he does clip his shin first. But he did hit the ball. I don't know, ref. I don't know. You're messing with us. You're messing with us, ref. We need to win this match. Oh, even the even the assistant was like, yeah, that's probably a penalty, mate. I, I'm not sure. I'm not qualified to make this decision. Come on. God damn it. We are in the mud. Noah Iverson, you tool. You tool. Look at the hundreds of fans freaking out. Bunch of trash. Trash refereeing. <laughs> We're blaming the refs today. There it is. Get there. Get there, Huam. There we are. Oh, calf circle. He's speedy. As long as he's not shooting the ball. He's got two people and the ref on him. It's a great play up to Brent's. All right. It's not the play I would have drawn up, but it's interesting. Clinton Atwee, our best trainer. There it is. Ooh, good shot. Good effort. It's one of those things where it's not quite silky. It's close. It's close to what we're looking for. It's just not quite silky smooth, you know? Get it out. Good work, Gordinho. What on earth? For real? How does this happen? It goes up. Did he just volley it? Yeah. What? Okay. I... Ah! We are in the mud. All right. All right. Demand more. This is rather unfortunate. This is indeed rather unfortunate. Lingby is winning 2-0. Pot one before the end? Ah, oh, close. I mean, we're right there, man. We are right there on goal differential and they've had a penalty. So we're outplaying them. I'm not angry, just disappointed. Nah, I expect to see a much better second half, though. Like, a much better second half. We need to start controlling this game. Here we go, Pavel. Get that in. What? Oh, yep! Oh my god! Yep! Oh my good god! What are, <laughs> I mean, if that's not going in for us, how are we also not familiar with this system? This is the only system we've ran all year. This is the only system we've ran all year. How are you not familiar with it? All right, well. Let's up the tempo. I mean, we need a goal, so. Um, let's get your plays on. I think Brenz has played fine. I'm not really sure what Jardy's doing. 
Static man is shoe guy. Maybe not yet. Ugh, Cap Circle's not having a good game. The thing is, Cap Circle's just so good at what he does, and Man of Shoe Guy is not really a good replacement for him. Alright, let's encourage the lads. Let's get out there. Let's have a good 15 minutes. Instead, Sonnenberg's gonna get a yellow. Why can't we hit the net with those headers, man? Why does every header go d the same distance over the crossbar? The same distance. All right. Uh, now nah, let's put Shorzy on. Shorzy's on. We have lots of subs. Jada's on. We just need goals. So just anything. Literally anything. Let's get Sonnenberg out so he doesn't get a red. I mean, I can't be upset with the highlights we've had. We've had enough highlights to get a couple of goals here. Every header is the same distance over top of the bar. Maybe we just need low crosses. We, <laughs> we have it on low crosses. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll put a man who shoot guy on. The problem with this, though, is we can't have him on ball winning. Holy smokes. This is rather unfortunate, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we outplayed him. We out XG'd him. We, we were just only capable of hitting the ball like two inches over the net. Yeah, I'm disappointed. That was not good enough. That was not good enough. We have to we have to figure it out, make it work for Lingby. We're still second in the table. We're now five points back of first. We have to turn this run of form around, though. We just don't have an option. Gordinho. I think we probably sell Gordinho this offseason. If I had to take a guess on what we're doing, I think we probably sell Gordinho. I wonder if he's out of contract. All right, we need to get some match. Okay, match tactics is... Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. So we're running two match tactics. I have no idea, actually, how we're so unfamiliar with the tactics. Too many new players? I have... I could not tell you. I'm not really sure. We'll figure it out. But we are running some match tactics already. We got to keep the team bonding in there. We got to keep the team morale high. Yeah, because then we get these boosts on the pitch. We need to keep the team morale high. It is imperative. When is Lingsby? Lingsby is way over here. So we have a while. We have a little international break here, so we should schedule some friendlies, yeah? Why do I have no training here? That seems strange. I'm gonna schedule some friendlies anyway. I won't put anything here yet to see if something pops up. I think we just do a, a friendly on this Monday. Just to keep people match sharp. Is there anything else I want to... I think I, I think I don't mind this training. Yeah, I think the only thing is arranging a friendly on the Monday. Go smaller reputation teams so we can beat them. Hunsumer! Husumer! Assumer! Alright, you're getting smashed, dude. We're gonna make we're gonna make a thousand pounds. We're just gonna go, we're gonna beat him. Things are gonna feel good. We're in bad form right now. A couple of losses in a row. Really starting to pile up. Not feeling great. I wonder why we have no training there. Is it like a week off for everyone? 
Is that what our main man is thinking? We're currently at a C plus with the board, which is not ideal. I think it's because we're going over the wage budget a little bit. Yeah, we're 500 over the wage budget, which is sad. That's sad. That's never where you want to be. Oh, Clinton Atwe. Antwi, sorry. Clinton Antwi. Having a great time. 22-year-old Ghanaian. He was 21 when we started. That's how time works. Jesper Carr going to the B team? Sure. The board is happy with you because you don't know how to spend the money. It's impossible, dude. I, I, I'm not really sure how, how you're even functioning in the MLS in this game. The fact that you're having fun in there is great because, oh boy, oh boy is it rough. Messi wins goal 50. What does Messi not win? What 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 is it that Messi's not winning? Tallest footballer of the year. That's what Messi's not winning. This average rating is creeping up a little bit. 18 appearances, 10 goals. I mean, you'd think this would be a great loan spell. He's not really growing a whole lot, though. He had a bad slide of five games where he had a draw, and I swear it came in the last four to five minutes, if not the added time. Ah, that sucks. That's how it always happens, though, isn't it? That's how it always happens. Skibstead finished out scouting Pascal Gregor from Lingsby. I mean, he's good. He is good. He's a good defender. Or Lingby. Lingby is just Lingby. You're less good, but you're free. You're a free player. Why do we hate him? Why do we hate him? Homegrown in nation, under 21, plays in a couple of positions. He's 16. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen, Peppermint Butler is here with his friends. Welcome them in. That the Chewy was not the correct volume. My ears hurt. Welcome in, everyone. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome to Viborg FF, where we are currently uh, contemplating whether or not we want to sign Daniel Jawolski. <laughs> Our scout says no, but I'm thinking closer to yeah, so we'll see. It's top fart Viborg. Uh, we are currently in a bad run of form. We started out the season great. We started out the season lots of green here, lots of wins, and now it's just lots of red. Now it's just a whole bunch of red, and we're hoping to make it green again. Morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. For those of you who are new here, my name is Bradley. I'm playing football manager right now, but we frequently play Civilization. In fact, we are playing Civilization tonight. So if you're here and you're like, hey, this seems fun, but I hate soccer and this game and what's happening right now, that's fine because later in the day, we're gonna do something that you might not dislike as much. Middle fart Viborg then? Yeah, 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 it's like middle fart Viborg. We got fired from middle fart. We did get sacked. I like Daniel Jawolski. I guess the potential is why we don't like him. He just seems like a sellable guy. He just seems like a guy you you get, you throw on the U19 team, and you sell him for 20000 later on. I mean, there's not much I can do because I'm already over the wage budget. This guy's pretty good, too. All right. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> that's fair, Seth. That's fair. If you like Football Manager and hate me, then that that's that's equivalent to the same thing. Then you probably won't like, then you probably won't like the Civ stream. Also, thank you, Peppermint, for the raid. I appreciate it. How was your stream? What were you guys doing? I'm assuming Civ stuff. We're currently trying to see if we can get 1 million gold in our bank as Portugal. And it's very hard. We're trying, though. Danny Catamartari. 
Oh, that's not the player. Jens Lar- Okay, this guy sucks. Jens Larson, you're technically on our team, but you suck. We- We don't need you. Juan Jardy has- e Why is he not playing well? It must be an adaptability thing. His hidden adaptability must be bad. Because adaptability is a hidden attribute, so you can't see it. Like, there- He should be one of the best players in this league. We're, put, we're playing him on the side he likes. He has great, great stats for this level. Ooh, a Pi TD spawn. Turn 146, Canada National Park. I have PTSD for my Canada game. We did all the things. We were so good. We had like 600 culture, turn 150. We had at least a dozen to 20 national parks pretty much right away. And yet, freaking Maya was in the game and was so far ahead in yields that she just blocked rock bands and then all of our rock bands sucked. It took forever, I hated it. And nothing to do with Canada, all to do with like someone else being so good at culture. Oh, it was ridiculous. It was the worst. It was, it was the worst experience I've had in Civ since the new Frontier patch came out. I was so frustrated. It was so, I, I think what was most frustrating is like, it's like when you do the thing, when you do the strategy that's meant to win and then that doesn't win and you're like, well, now what do I do? That you like, like, what do you do when you're Canada? You have like 600 culture at turn 150 or something ridiculous. And then you have like the 28 national parks you're meant to have, right? Like I don't, it was, ugh, it was so frustrating. Yeah, it was Maya and rock band. Oh, we had at least 20 rock bands, all of which died pretty much right away. I think two got their second promotion. The other 18 or it was so bad. It was so bad. <laughs> I remember the details. That's how bad it was. Is I, I very infrequently remember the details of Civ games I played. But I know how much culture I had and when I had it and how many rock bands we had and when we got the national parks. Also, is Rachel still here? Rachel, I loved your editing on the last PB video. The editing is hitting a new height, for sure. The the suspenseful... <laughs> my favorite part about the suspenseful intro was that it was just a bunch of cuts <laughs> of things that aren't suspenseful. You would cut to like PB being like, should we chop this forest? And then it would like, dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. maybe we'll put this harbor down. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. And it was just like, <laughs> just so many unsuspenseful things <laughs> cut. <laughs> with this it was so good i loved it so much right like it wasn't like it would have been like the editing was like do 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 and then it's like you would expect a city to be overrun by zombies and it's just like hey we're gonna put this farm down da -da -da. so good <laughs> All right, we beat Husumer. So when you do your friendlies, this may be anecdotal or like a placebo effect. I think it makes a difference because in the preseason, if you lose all your friendlies, the players get really upset. So when you're in between games like this and you have a bit of a break, scheduling friendlies against teams you know you can just smash helps with the morale a little bit. I don't know how much, I haven't tested like to what degree, but if you're in a bit of a losing skid, if you're in a bit of a losing skid and you can like go out in some friendlies and just destroy people. So when you're arranging your friendlies, try not to arrange friendlies against like a bunch of larger reputation teams unless unless that's what you're going for because then you'll just lose and that sucks. Uh, I think we have a team talk ahead of the next game. If I'm being honest, our form is trash. I think we have a team talk pre Lingby here. Why are we not training anymore? I don't understand why there's no training here. Can we assign training? Is there a reason we're just not training right now? Where is my coach? Why is my coach who's assigned to do the training? Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I haven't finished it yet. The problem is, the problem with watching YouTube videos of streams 
is that I'm usually in and out of most people's streams. So I have a hard time figuring out. Like, I always... Like, I just always get the feeling like I've watched it already, even though I haven't. Like, like PB will play an eight-hour game, and I'll be there for two hours of it. But when I go to watch it on YouTube, I feel like I've already watched it. I don't know if that makes sense. But the, the intro was the best. I'm about an hour. No, not an hour. Maybe half an hour in. I watched it yesterday. It's just so good, though. I think we have a team talk. I don't know why our training guy is not scheduling training, though. That is bamboozling my brain. All right, we're going to delegate this leads general training. Sir, can you schedule some training? I guess we're going to have to do it. I guess we're going to have to do it. God, if you want something done right, do it yourself, eh? If you want something done right, do it yourself, you know? Are we familiar with the tactic yet? We better be. I can't believe we're not. That was the biggest shock of last game. Why are we unfamiliar right now? Oh, it's much better. This is much better, but like still. It's the only tactic we've played all year. Match tactic. I mean, we're literally doing match tactics until everyone's familiar. Overall, I think we need to work on our corner kicks. Attacking corners needs uh, some training. Rest match preview. I think that's fine. All right, we're, we're doubling match tactics. We need to be familiar. UAE head coach to leave post. I think in the game we're Danish. I do want to apply for an international job, but I don't think we'll get one yet. I think I think having been fired from middle fart, you need a couple of years after that. It's a, kind of like a credit score, right? Like you need to give it however long it takes to drop off the report, <laughs> right? So when people ask like, hey, you got sacked from middle fart after one season. Like, yeah, that was in 2020. That was back then. This is now. You're getting the new and improved Floki Onvars and not this trash heap that got sacked at middle fart. Sufis Burger. This is... I hate our schedules because it's like, hey, I want to give Sufis Burger some U19 time. At the same time, I need him in this match. Do I need him in this match? One second here. Maybe I don't need him in this match. The problem is he, whenever you do play him. Yeah, he's coming in. Instead of Manu Shu guy, it's Sufis Burger. You'll ne you shall never escape the shame. That's fair. So you got fired by middle fart. How about you manage the English national team? If I manage the English national team, the only person, it would just be Phil Foden. That's it. No one else. Phil Foden. He is incredible. He's my favorite player to watch right now. In football in general. Phil Foden. Just unbelievable. Are right, we at match day yet? Let's have, a, let's have a team talk. Let's see what the morale is. If the team morale is pretty good, then there's no point. I would suspect after a pretty big losing streak like this, people are grumpy. Dynamics. Team meeting. Oh, yeah, people aren't overly happy. Um, I want to ensure that our heads don't drop. Things haven't been going our way. Yes! Yo. Every time you do one of these team meetings, man. Every time you do one of these team meetings, it either goes super well or you mess up the whole year. There it is. Everyone's very positive. Where's the morale changes? Oh, here we go. Look at that. Bond went from really good to excellent. Went from okay to fairly good. We went from good to really good. I mean, these descriptors. I think if I think I think for FM22, we need some different descriptors here. <laughs> Yo, how's your how's the team morale? Really good. What was it before? Just regular good. Where's it gonna go? Super mega good.
Juan Jardy better start scoring, man. I don't know why. Like, I can't not play him. He's incredible. I can't not play him. This guy should be a starter in the next division up. Like, he should be... He's one of those players that should be coming with us when we get promoted. He is only 19. I'm gonna Google something quick. Uh. I'm gonna swap Brenz and Jardy. Oh, I can't put Brenz over here. Oh my God. His dribbling is fine. Let's have Jardy cut in. Let's have him cut in more. How's it going, Cap Circle? I mean, we just had a team talk because we're playing like but it's fine. We're doing okay. We're still in second. We're up against Lingby away, which really sucks. That's a really hard match. But then we got Fistead at home, which should be a better match for us. And then we got our winter break. And I don't think much is going to happen. I think we might sell uh, Gordinho. I don't know if it'll be during the winter break when the transfer window opens or at the end of the season. I think it depends on how likely it is that we get promoted. If it's looking likely that we're getting promoted out of the... Hey, you're making positive development. If it's looking likely we'll get promoted out of the round robin, then we probably won't. Interesting that the game wants to put Jardy up top. I mean, I'm not against that either. Maybe that's what he needs to get going. I mean, we can try that. I don't think I want him up there as a false nine, though. Yeah, I'd rather him be moving into the channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Let's try that. Pavel, we know Pavel is good on the wing. We know he is the, the few times... We've moved him there. He's been great. How are we not familiar with this tactic? I really don't understand that. It's the only tactic we've used. Also, the sun is on, baby. The sun is on. Lingby is coming off a loss. Lingby is coming off a loss. We're coming off two losses. Oh, they got it. They got a kickoff highlight. What is this? Go, Huam. Go get it. Keep pressing. Keep going. There we are. And we get there. We get there. Yaka Bond. Oh, Pavel. Pavel. Move your feet. Oh, God. Okay, don't get... Who is that? Please don't get suspended. Please don't get a red card. There. Huam. Huami Jardy. Go. Ref, ref, that was the same penalty you gave against us last game. Oh God, this is not going well already. All right, so we're starting to get some momentum here. Can we get the first goal in a match? Is that too much to ask? Is it too much to ask that we get the first goal in a match? All right, we're coming in a little narrower. We're being a little more direct, a little higher tempo. Put that in! Ah, that's seven finishing cap circle. 
Why is your finishing so bad? You got everything else we need, except when the ball gets to your feet. We are the least clinical. This is like France all over again. This is like France all over again. Just the least clinical team on planet Earth right now. Um, I think we have been a little unlucky. We're not finessing the ball around. Early in the season, we had that finesse to us. Like passes would just, they were magnetic. Good block. What? Oh no! Why? Why? We are in the mud. We are, we are, we are, we are in the mud. Good lord. This is such a lucky goal, too. It's offside. No, Yep's got there anyway. All right, Huam. Oh, no, we didn't make it to Huam. All right, can we pass it to our own dude? Oh my God, yeah, it's in. Oh, uh, why is this happen? I don't, this is like middle fart too. I just don't understand. We are a better team. We're not running too high up the pitch. I think we, ch we, have, we have to do something tactically different. I mean, we also have that defensive midfielder, yet it feels like we don't. It feels like we don't have a defensive midfielder at all. Where's Bond? I mean, everyone's back. There's five people. There he is. He's where we want him to be. That sucks. Oh boy. I mean, we're just invisible, hey? Jada, you're on. Your plays, you're on. Sufis Burger is going on. Maybe we should keep running the wingbacks. Maybe that's taken the offensive pep out of our step. Jardy, oh my God. This is literally like middle fart where I really just don't understand what's going so wrong. What? Oh. <laughs> Are you for real? Where is the penalty here? Oh my God. I guess. Sure. Sure, ref. Sure. Ruin our hopes and dreams like this. Yeah, I'll blast. Yo, yeah, get out of there. Woo, we have something to cheer about. We have something to cheer about. Good. 
All right, we got the ball out. Are we gonna get to the ball? No. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Jer plays. I, I don't know. I just don't know. All right, everyone. Autobots, roll out. Louis. What's up, Thanks, football manager DNA? Plan. How are we doing? Hopefully you're doing better than we are right now. We are in a run of form that I can't even comprehend. I can't even understand what's going wrong here. Well, that was Grim says Salah. <laughs> Salah's got the idea. I mean, we did just, I mean, at least Fistet at home is our next match. We did just reset though. That's the thing that really sucks is we had the team meeting. We had everything. We like, this run of form is incalculably bad. We're getting better with the tactic. Maybe we just focus it down the wings more. Then we go a little narrower. Up the tempo a little bit. I. The problem is we know this tactic is incredible. Or that it works. Form is not picked up. But I it's it's frustrating because we know we're better. I'm not actually gonna prevent short goalkeeping distribution because we keep getting burned on those two. Like we know we're better teams than these people. Can I not schedule training? Why is there no training here? Coach! Coach, why is there no training? Help me. Nikolai Lund. Nikolai is just on a vacation. He just doesn't want to schedule training this week. Oh, it's because we're technically on our mid-season break. But like we have a match. So we just can't... Denmark, are you high? What's going on in Denmark? So I can't schedule training because we're technically on our mid-season break. But our mid-season break also include What? Also includes a match. Well, this is strange. I don't think I've ever seen this before. <laughs> I think... That you shouldn't be on your midseason break Louis, until you've played. This is the beginning of a beautiful French. Players will report back for training on January 23rd. But we have a game on November 28th. Huh? At Dyer underscore M. Welcome in. All right. I'm confused. Everyone has 16. Why are we playing? Everyone has the same amount of games. Everyone is... <laughs> Denmark, I don't understand you. Yeah, no one's on vacation though. But I can't recover. Oh boy. Oh boy. The mid-season drink all the beer you can break is very... Oh, now we have training. I'm not following what is happening fully. All right, we need some attacking training. Why are we still so unfamiliar with this? 
especially on the tempo side. We should not be this unfamiliar. All right, we need some attacking training. Match prep, attacking movement. You're sliding in. Tactical, we need attacking shadow play. What does that do for us? Mentality with, we need to work on tempo. Which one of these helps work on tempo? That's specifically where we're not. Yeah, we're doing team re we're doing match recaps, all of it. Yeah, that helps with the team uh, morale. Does defensive shadow play help with the tempo? It doesn't. Is there a training that does? I've never tried to do this. Yeah, here we go. Attacking wings. Let's do one of them. Free kicks. I think we're fine on the free kicks. I'm just trying to find like specific gaps in our game right now. Chance conversion. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's better. All right. Fisted is the worst team in the league, and we're playing them at home. Three people injured in one day. All right. At least the people we really care about are only a couple of days. Tactically, I'm not really sure how to, other than doing a 4-4-2. Or two strikers, like, asymmetric. You can do two strikers asymmetric. We really need to sign Blend Estreffy, Estreffy, but I'm just over the wage budget already. We can do two, we can do two strikers up front with asymmetric wings. That would get Jardy and Pavel. Jardy as the advanced playmaker or the advanced forward and Pavel as the, the more deeper line guy. All right, we just need to win against this dead. Yeah, you're out of ideas. Check out, it's all good. We're having fun. It's just frustrating. When you're when you're in a when you're in a slump and you're losing and you're you're trying to figure out why that's that's part of the experience. One of my friends is a huge Wolfsburg fan, so it's nice to see them doing well, you know. Any of the Wolfsburg people out there? Nice to see you all doing good. All right, well, I'm Jardy. We're, we're starting some new people, I think. I think we can't run with this same starting 11. I think that's probably illegal at this point. Kramer would have been a good pickup, but he's hurt now. What's called Wolfgang Wolf? That is amazing. That is truly incredible. Wolfgang Wolf, which team do you manage? Wolfsburg. I mean, he's not match sharp. But I think Sebastian Groning probably needs to get up there at some point. 
Although Jada should be able to do a similar job and he just doesn't. All right, Jerplays is starting. Let's see if playing down the wings gets Jardy more involved. I'm still a little bit mind boggled how non-familiar with this we are. Especially with the tempo, but. I suppose that's fine. Must have been the easiest job interview of his life. Absolutely. He just walks in like, my name is Wolf, Wolfgang, Wolf, whatever. Hoger demands more. I'm trying to, oh, these aren't, this isn't a news conference. I have, there's some weird things with this save. This training thing was weird. I'm trying to do the press conferences. I have them enabled and there's just never a press conference. But we didn't like, we didn't add things to the database, right? Like when we did the database up, we didn't add anything. We just renamed stuff. And so it wouldn't be. Wouldn't be that. All right, so if we win, if we win this game, we're in third. Esberg lost to Horsens. If we win this game, we are in third. Which is a fine place to be. That is an all right place to be. Eight thousand. That's that's uh, affordable. That is affordable. I don't really want to scout someone. Oh, where is he playing? Oh, he's playing in Croatia. That's expensive to scout. We can scout these guys in the off season. We don't have unless we sell someone for a massive fee. We don't have any room in this window. I don't think we need Al Blast just came into the club, so I think we're good there. All right, Thist dead. They have the poorest disciplinary record. I mean, that makes sense when you're a newly promoted team because your tackling numbers will be lower than everyone else. De Gea signing a four-year deal at Man United. That seems like a bad deal for Man United. I mean, in the save right now, the dude must be old. All right, we're going in. Pavel, Jardy, your plays, caps are... Let's try, let's try a different role here. Let's try Metzala. Trying to met Sally here instead of a uh, playmaker. The tempo and the position roll, dude. It's literally the only tactic we used all year. And we've run so much tactic training. Tis the only thing we've done for an entire year. We, we de I don't know how to say this. We need this win so bad. What game are we playing? This is football manager. We are managing Viborg FF in the Danish second division. Sorry. Yeah, this is the football manager. Pavel, get that into the box. Someone put it in the net. Someone put it in the net. God, it's nice to see the green of our stadium again. The Rip Middle Fart Stadium. Why are we getting burned by these fools? Get there, good. Are you for real? Oh my god. 
What is the point of having... Oh my god. What are... What are we even doing? What is even going this wrong? This is like Chernobyl level. Disaster. We're even defending more narrowly. What is the point of having a midfield and a defense that looks like this? You have all these people here. Al Blast. Don't punch the air, save the ball. This is embarrassing. This is like legitimately embarrassing. Again, it's just not clinical at all. Like we had, we're doing better in the XG. We have 70% of the possession. This team should be legitimately embarrassed. Why are we still getting burned by Yao? Oh boy. This is, I have no idea how to fix this. I'm far from pleased. I'm thrashing my arms. If he's so fast, if we mark him, he'll just burn us again. But he's already burning us, so... Whoa, we didn't throw it right to them. Come on, Jardy. Oh, pass it to a person. Pass it to a person. Jer plays. I mean, Pavel's been absolutely invisible, hey? I, I, I just don't know how to make this work. I don't know what it is we're doing wrong. I don't know how, I don't know how it's going this bad. It's the same with middle fart. I understand why we lose games against good teams. I don't understand why we just consistently get throttled by everyone in the league no matter what it is. All right, Sufis, you're in. Sufis Burger. Can you even be a med salad? Not really. What's up, man? I mean, we're, we're, we're just in the worst run of form. This is middle fart all over again. There's just nothing going right. Literally everything is going wrong, but it doesn't matter what we do. All right, here we go. Put the ball in the net. Let's just get a goal. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. 
Hell yeah, brother. That is a start. That is a goal. That is a goal for Viborg. Renz puts that in the box. Pavel's there. What a what a shot. That defied physics. That defied physics. Get two, Brenz. Come on, Brenz. Oh, that's a red. Yeah, get out of here, Yao. Get out of here, Yao. Can we put one in before the end? Can we put one in before the end? No, burger! This isn't ideal. I guess Shorzy's going in. It's not a loss, but like this can't keep happening. This is like, I think we've out XG'd in every game today. Burger is still on the pitch. We're in third though. It is good enough for third place. We're not... We're well off the pace to get promoted, though. And and when we get to that promotion... I mean, at this point, if, we're only three points above this drop now. And if we get to that promotion round robin, like, we have to play all these teams twice. So you're, you're against a bunch of good teams. All right, Burger's hurt for a couple weeks. That should have been a win. That should have been a win. I mean, maybe we just need more muscle up front. Maybe, maybe we just need more people up. Right, which side is Pavel best on? Right, like maybe you have a situation like this where you move Pavel over and Jardy up. Right, then you have two people up front. This is kind of how Zeeland does his tactic. Yeah, invite the fans. <laughs> yeah, fan day was not a success. Right, this is similarly to how Zeeland sets his up. But then you get two strikers up front. And then Brenz can just run up and down this wing. Cap Circle fills in this void here. Pavel fills in this void. Yeah, that's true. So a lot of the contradiction, Checo, is just us fooling around in the last couple of games to figure it out. The overlaps weren't on. The overlaps we just turned on for last game to try and do something. You are right, though. Right? When we started the day, so we played three games today. When we started, the passing was more direct. The tempo was lower. Everything was wider. Like, the tactic made more sense. It's just that we just are just so in the mud. So yeah, a lot of the contradictions came from just us messing around today to try and find something. I don't know if I like this, but what we've been doing hasn't been working. I'm just wondering if having two players up here 
makes us more clinical. Right, like if having more people responsible for getting into the box. Hmm. It would give the it would give the wing back here the room to get up. I wonder if we pass into space. I wonder if we do go a little more direct. If this playing all the way out wide cover this better? No. Yeah, let's try the two strikers. I mean, we need to try something. Let's pass first, dribble less, work the ball into the box. There's no real overlaps anymore. We'll see what the wingbacks can do. I think we go back to having wingbacks though. Because they're not skilled enough, yeah. I mean, we haven't looked good passing direct or indirect. <laughs> like, we haven't looked good doing anything. Yeah, standard passes is fine. Let's try mixed crosses. Low, low crosses hasn't been working. I mean, the other crosses weren't working either. But... Width is awkward. Yeah, I think we run this a little asymmetric and see what happens here. I mean, Jardy should just be popping them in. He should just be absolutely popping them in. We'll run tactics training when we get back from our winter break. It is winter break time, though. So winter break, I don't think we're going to be making any moves. I don't think we have any big moves to make or anything. I'm surprised we can train, but I think all our players are on break, right? Not yet. They'll leave tomorrow. More shooty shooty. Yeah, we can try that. Less fannying about. I like that. It's it, The problem I'm having is we looked so good early on in the season. Yeah, club atmosphere is very poor now. Oh, man. I mean, we're still third. We are in the position we're meant to be in. We're meant to be third. Yeah. It's just weird, Checo, that it's so bad. Yeah, now the board's disappointed. Oh, God. It's just weird that it's so bad. That's what I'm not quite understanding. Like, back-to-back -back years, back-to-back -back years at the exact same time in the season... You just go on a run of form that that's like it doesn't even make sense. Like it's not a run of form where you can like look at it and figure like it's just a run of form that defies any logic. Right? And to have that in back-to-back -back years feels really bad. <laughs> right. And then to like have things like like it doesn't like it doesn't matter what you do. Like, it doesn't matter what the tactic is. It doesn't matter that you have a team talk. It doesn't matter. Like, you're just going to go out and get romped by Thistead.
You just need one game to break the site. We needed that win so bad. I wonder if the 1st of December is like a big day for some leagues. It might be. Matthias Jorgensen. What's up, dude? Our overall balance is very bad. What's up, Burley? We're struggling. We're, we're middle farting all over again. We are middle farting all over again. We have four BT. Oh, we have a bunch of under 19 contracts expiring. That's fine. We're just in this run of form where things just aren't going. Things just aren't going for us. We are technically in the position we're meant to be in, though. That SFB team is so good. I mean, they lost to Copenhagen, obviously, but this SFB team is so bad and so good in the cup. So good in the cup. They beat us out of the cup last year too. We're middle farting. We are middle farting. We're fine. Well, it, yeah, we're, we're te we were meant to finish third. And that's the board expectation and the media expectation. And we are currently in third. The problem is the way we got to third, like if you win a bunch of games and then you lose a bunch of games, the players don't like that. It's much easier on the team atmosphere if you just kind of slowly win a few, lose a few, win a few, lose a few, instead of just crashing and burning like Final Destination style. What's up, Zowzy? I mean, what's up is not our form. <laughs> our form is down. We need just a scorcher. We need like a five goal game. We need a game from the heavens. We need the football manager gods to bless us. We're gonna, we're not playing a game for a while. We have 93 days till our next match. So it's a lot of simulating through the winter break. So mostly we're just chatting, you know? I think December in most leagues, there's still football. So it's simulating all the other leagues we have loaded as well. Gordinho coming in with 47 interceptions. 47. Wow. I like how the <laughs> I like how people are just here watching, like just uh, simming through the days. I enjoy that. We should put cookie clicker on the screen. We should get cookie clicker on the screen as something to do while we're waiting. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it, Burley. That's exactly it. We need a, a mega pog champ game. We just need something. I mean, hey, we didn't lose last game. Thank God. Louis McDermott. This is the of a Yo, what's up, McDermott? How you doing? Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Much love. Recruitment reading. We have no money. I do want to offer Cap Circle a contract, but we have no money. I'm just going to say I'm aware. I'm just going to say I'm aware and have them come to the scouting section here. An end of contract. 53, hey? 
Oh, uh, yeah, these are all just the youngins. They probably all have, um... I mean, I don't know why they'd come and hang out. They probably all have, um, extensions, right? Not at all. They're just on amateurs. Oh, no, scouting required to find out their contract. Okay. No compensation. Nah, I don't think he's good enough. 15 year old winger at Midgetland. Midland? I don't know how to say that. I like calling it Midgetland. That's not how I just say that, though. That's not even close. Nope. You're not terrible. My problem is I can't really afford to keep scouting all these people, right? Callum Ainley, a 24 year old at Crew. All right. 43,000, he wants a lot of money though. This is more my, that's more my wage. Ole Bertelson. It's a good little fullback, potential end of contract fullback. I think that's fine. Put him on the short list. I like having lots of people on the short list to look through. End of contract, here we go. This is the kind of thing we're looking for. This is the kind of thing we're looking for. Like a 16 year old right back. Who's good at long throws. <laughs> a 16 year old right back who's good at long throws. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna keep scouting Frank Larson. Um, can we get that done quickly? Larson, you're up. All right, we can stop getting reports. We can stop getting reports on our on our guy. He's doing fine. He's doing fine. Yeah, we want Frank Larson. We want to see what he's about. Amateur contract plays for B93. Yeah. The thing is, if we take too many young players, I don't have the facilities to make them good, right? That could also be what we're missing is just affiliate loans that we can bring in to, to, to really get this team going. This guy looks pretty good. A ball winning midfielder that's better than Yep. Previously compiled scouting reports. He looks not bad. The problem is I'll, having a lot of physicals and mentals be in the white just so his jumping reach can be at 16. Strength, jumping reach, heading, determination. He's 6'4. I don't think he's worth scouting, but he's worth having in the list. This guy is so fast for a center back. Mazito Gunbow, you're definitely coming on trial, mate. Uh, we don't know. We, when we got here, we don't have one, I don't think. I'm gonna check for this transfer window though. If not, I'm gonna see if we can find one. Jonas Mortensen. He's aight. Oh, is this the guy we just wanted to scout right now? He wants a lot of money. This is the kind of kids you bring on loan, though. Oh, he's good, man. I like him a lot. I like Jonas a lot. Listed for loan. I can't afford to do a loan. I can afford to bring in free loans. We don't have anyone in on loan, I don't think, other than Brens. All right, cool. 
let's go and see if we can find an affiliate. Or maybe we have one and I just didn't know. All in the lower division. Middle fart, what's up? Yeah, look for senior affiliate. Let's see if we can get a senior affiliate and get some good loans in. That's one way to shake up the squad. That's one way to shake up the squad. Please give us Midgetland or Copenhagen. Those two. What? Why would we not want... Oh man, no one even wants to come on trial for us. Oh dear. Oh dear. No, 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 we don't want for income. What? I don't want a senior affiliate for income. No, 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 no. Not for income. I mean, I have no leverage right now because we're in the mud. We are in the mud. So I have no leverage. Why does she think I want a club for income? I don't care about the money. I want the players. Yeah, we are in a sticky situation. Second year in a row, the exact same thing. Start out really well. Everything is fine. Everything is going great. There's some for no like for no reason just inexplicably just everything tanks everything goes bad everything sucks. I mean, we'll do another team talk before our next game because you can usually do them around once a month if you need to without without things going too poorly. Hopefully everyone after their vacation of a couple of months. Gets to go and, and be refreshed and all of the things. We're gonna run with two strikers up front. Moving forward instead of just one. We're gonna do the old Zealand asymmetric strat. A little different than how he has his going, but similar in ways. Yeah, I think the problem is, Owls, everyone else also gets a vacation. And <laughs> we're not the only team on vacation. I'm not discussing transfer stories, news media. I'm focused on winning football matches. We are laser focused on winning football matches. They really do you with these winter breaks. I should have just done this offline. <laughs> they do you with these winter breaks. Anvarsen, look at him. I like how he has that one piece of hair that falls off his face just like I do. We almost got a job at Yammerbugged. Almost, not quite, but almost. <sighs> I mean, maybe we don't rotate enough, but maybe that makes this easy to figure out as a team, but we also don't have a lot of good depth. I also wonder.
Like, what if we slide Bond right in? No, 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 I'm talking like... Alright, okay, you're gonna move here. Like, instead of having Bond sit back... Right, because then he still gets to be... I mean, he's not really a playmaker. I wonder if this makes a little more sense. Yaka Bond, he's just, he's only really a good defensive midfielder though. He can run box to box, but I don't think he's very good at it. He's not a very good playmaker either. He's not a very talented ball winner. I don't want a Carolero. His determination only being three. Not the best. I just wonder if that creates more pressure a little farther up the field. To have Bond move from here up a little bit. I think maybe that makes more sense. I just don't think Yakub... Yakub Bond is our only defensive midfielder, and he's just not doing it, you know? I mean, I can keep tweaking it till it just becomes a 4-4-2, but I think this is a little more balanced now. Because I just think Bond down here wasn't doing a whole lot. This gives me room to put on some of our other midfielders. Because the the old the old way of doing it, Bond was the only option in that position. We have players leaving their agents. Yeah, Bond is pretty bad. He's not great. He's just the only... When we set up the tactic, we were just trying to make use of the players we had, and he was one of them. And his only good position was as a defensive midfielder. But he's been super useless there, so... We still have 82 days to go. End of contracts. Are your contracts ending in June next year? Yeah, June 15th. I mean, yeah, let's get a let's get a report on these guys. Oh, can I not just select them from here? Oh, right, here we go. These are the end of contracts. Let's get a new scouting report on them. Yeah, no wonder Scandinavia has such a high quality of life. They just get a huge siesta. Just a massive wintertime siesta for everyone. Absolutely massive.
I mean, I'm, I'm glad the board is still paying for coaching courses. The Great Winter Bacon Binge. Absolutely. The cup looks like they're having a lot of fun. It looks like they're having a lot of fun in the cup. Ike Sung Ho. Oh, man. Look at this guy. Jonas Wind. Jonas Wind. Wow. Do you want to come on loan? He's wanted by West Ham. Do you have any contracts ending in December, actually? I think it's just all youth contracts. These all cost money, though. So maybe we're at four B-team contracts. Who are they? Are we getting, like, people off the books? All right, these guys are not on any contracts. Uh, we're getting 250 pound a week off the books. Damn it! We're only getting 250 pound a week off the books. Ah! I think we try and sell Jakob Bond. How much do we think he's worth? I think going into this transfer window, we try and sell Jakob Bond. I mean, Manu Shoe Guy is probably better than Jakob Bond. He's valued 76,000. He's got good mentals. He shouldn't be as bad as he is. He's got the mentals. I think we start training again in like a week, even though our next game is in like, or in like a month, even though the next game is a hundred years away. Yeah, he's a center back as well. You could start him instead of Sonnenberg, but I wouldn't start him instead of Gordinho. Good way to help avoid upsetting a drop player is to warn them that you plan to rest him in advance. Cool. That's a fun fact. They should have like a snake game. They should have a snake game that goes on during this so that when you're playing during the winter break, you have something to do. A higher line of engagement instructs players to actively press the opponent in possession. Yes. Hey, there's some green in our youth intake. Yo, it's not a golden generation though. There's a lot of wingers. One of our goalkeepers looks a great prospect. One fullback has plenty of promise. A top prospect in the center of midfield. A forward who can be considered a fine prospect. A good young Danish goalkeeper. And it's an excellent group of players. And then there's a lot of bad stuff that we're not going to read. There's a lot of bad stuff we're not going to read. We don't have money for any of these players, but you, you'd like to have some of them. Jonas Gemmer. I mean, he can only really play in one position. 
Like the other positions, he's like pretending. He's a pretender. I like this. I like Jonas Gemmer on principle, though. He plays for Horsens, too. He's one of those ones that you, you can get him if you sold. Like Jakob Bond. Yeah, I can't afford any of these guys, though. I'm going to finish scouting the players we're currently scouting, and then we can kind of pick through. That guy's name was Storm. That guy's name was Storm. How? If you have the name Storm, you are a fit, a fit guy, Yusuf Musa. The short list grows and we can still get zero players. But the short list is growing. Manas Kusu. Free transfer. I can't afford a free transfer though. Yeah, we're dropping 200 pound a week. We need to drop 500 though. Is there no one who wants to go on loan? I mean, there's no one we can really send on loan. We already sent our one guy on loan that we could. Shorzy's wanted. And we've transfer listed him, question mark? What did we transfer list him for? Oh, he's been transfer listed by someone else. The thing is, if we sell him, we don't get to keep a lot of that money. So let's not. Right, even if we sell somebody, we don't get a lot of that money on the transfer budget. So it would save the wage budget. But it wouldn't help us with the transfer budget. Not Shorzy. Not Shorzy! Lorenzo Gordy, I mean, can you please be back by the time that we play a match? When is our first match? Good lord, these people love their breaks. <laughs> yeah, he'll be back. He'll, he'll, he'll go, come back. We'll have had a whole transfer window. Yeah, he can go. I'm not going to hold him back. I'm not going to say no, Gordino. Do not go to the Cup of Nations. I think what I might do though, I think I might do this offline. I think I might sim, I think I might go through and do this offline just to make this a little better viewing experience tomorrow morning. What do you guys think? Cause all we're gonna be doing is sitting here clicking for the next two hours. Right, I can do this offline. And then we can have a much better viewing experience tomorrow. Yeah, 
They're cooking some spaghetti. Uh, I like that. That is true, Checo. That is true. There's just nothing happening. Like, I just can't do anything. Even when the transfer window opens. All right, well, scout reports are in. Not full scout reports, but they tried. Yeah, or we would pass the pass the time transferring. That's exactly right. Hell yeah, Nilid. That's the spirit. Oh, it's almost Christmas. Huzzah! Christmas time. Magnus Bastel. Under 19 performance analyst. I mean, if we don't get promoted soon, within the next, like this year or the next one, we're gonna have some problems. We're gonna have some problems with the performance analyst in the U19s making a hundred pound a week. I mean, currently we're just hiring to what the board allows us though. We're not like, the board is allowing us to hire those people. We're not making stuff up on the fly here. Vibeboard players has a one year extension clause. Oh, he's wanted by Valur Reykjavik. I like this guy. I mean, we're not paying him anything, so. I mean, any of the people were not paying. Like, why is Jonas Nilsson leaving? No, 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 no. These are like good prospects. Oh, that's why Skovgard was getting paid 250. Wait a minute. Yeah, no, I want these guys to grow a little more. These guys have great potential. What are we doing? Yeah, I can't afford them. We are in the mud. We are in the mud. I can't afford to keep any of these good young players. Hundred seventy pound a week. Oh uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Like this is not the kind of guy you want to just be giving up. Oh, uh, this is hard. Right, like Scott, I mean, he's not very technical. Hmm. Needs to train full time, needs to train full time, needs to train, needs to train full time.
Yeah, there's just nobody whose contract is expiring or anyone we can really loan out either. I mean, we're not really playing Christian Sorensen. Does he? He's already on the loan list and transfer listed. Yeah, there's not even anyone I can get out of here to free up the room to sign all those guys. This is tough. We need to find a way to keep all those young players. Yeah, I can board request for more wages. The problem is we have no money. And they are mad at us right now. Oh, I have to try. They're gonna say no. They're gonna say no, but we have to try. I wish I could be more nuanced. Oh, here we go. Christian Sorensen. 3.2 thousand. Oh, they want me to contribute. Oh. Why do they want me to contribute 500 pound a week? I'm not contributing 500 pound a week. Although that still frees up 500 pound a week. That is true. It is only for six months. I'm going to reject it for now. K. Remove and exclude. Let's see what happens. We can't let all those under 19s go. We can probably pick a few to let go, but I don't really want to let all of them go. Are, they, are we getting another 3k offer? Give me that 3k offer. Do it.
Ah, uh, here we go. All right, that's gonna be a thousand pounds off the book. All right, so we are gonna get a thousand pounds off the book, I think. Which is good. And we're 500 over, that leaves us with around 500 of room to start working on some of these. Govgard, I think, is the obvious one you want to keep around. He's currently making 250, and he's a fringe player. Yeah, he's not gonna take a. He's not gonna take a lower contract. Who gave him a fringe? I mean, he could be a fringe player. All right, we're gonna have to work on this guy. Who else? Jonas Neeson? I mean, yeah, he's training well. He's getting a little bit better. He's someone I think if you, I think if you put some time into him, I think he gets a lot better. So this takes 210 because of all this extra stuff. Get it down to 140. Why do you want part time? Why do you want part time? All right, so that costs 200. That's one of those guys. Values education. <laughs> yeah, maybe he values his education. Enthusiastic striker. I think this guy's still got some growth. Who is giving us these opinions, though? Nikolai Lund. All right, Nikolai. How smart are you? His judging potential is not the worst. Let's get someone else to give those reports, though, so I can have a better idea. Is anyone actually better, though? Yeah, Lewis Craig is better. Usually the head of youth development is pretty good. Esben Egdal. All right, Lewis Craig. Let's get Lewis Craig to give those reports. Um, player development provides player reports. Lewis Craig. There we go. Cool. Oh, the club atmosphere is getting better now. He wanted party time and free beer. All right, we got our smartest guy. I just want to get a better sense of what his potential actually is. I mean, he's he's playing fine. Like he's he's improving. I think Skovgard needs a contract, but... I mean, we got the one we really wanted. Ole Olison too. The thing with Ole Olison is that he works really hard and his attributes are distributed well. He's a fringe player as well? Yo. 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 Let's just see what like a fringe player contract looks like. Oh, the same. Now we want full time. All right, we got two guys. We got two of them. Skarsgård, I think Till Mahler. I still, I'm still not exactly sure about Till Mahler. 
I'm not exactly sure on Till Mahler. Oh, I get lots of tweets this morning. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Oh, Gordino's finally leaving. We're ticking over into the year 2022, the year of our Lord, 2022. You know what we should do? Here's how we get out of the rut. Here's how we get out of the rut. We go to FM base and we just find the best tactic. What is the best tactic right now? <laughs> God, these ads. Launch your website today. No. Tactics. What is this? A strikerless. Number of matches 160, goal difference 146, total points 314. What does it look like? <laughs> what do you think? What, what do you think? Do we just run this? Inverted wingbacks? With two ball playing defenders, a sweeper keeper, two shadow strikers. <laughs> Unreal. That would be fun to try. All right, the transfer window is opening and we can do nothing. We can do absolutely nothing in the transfer window. Hell yeah. All right, I do think I am gonna call it here though. I think I am gonna call it here. That way I can go for a, a little bit of exercise before the Civ stream tonight. So I think we're gonna call it here. I will I will skip a little bit forward. I won't go fully all the way to March. I will sim a little bit of this. Maybe we come back just at the end of the transfer window tomorrow, just so we can kind of recap what's been happening, what's been going on. Um, but I think if we end it here, I can, I can do some of this tonight. I can do some of this tonight uh, before stream tomorrow, and then I can go for a little bit of, of a walk or a run or something before the Civ stream. So I think we're gonna do that. Let's go, who should we go say hi to? Who should we go say hi to? Who do we like? We will be back live tonight with the Civ stream. We like owls. Let's go say hi to owls. Let's raid owls. He's a good lad. Owls of... I can. Yeah, let's go raid owls. We will be back tonight with more Civ, tomorrow morning with more Football Manager. These winter breaks are, oh boy. These winter breaks are a lot. Let's go say hi to owls. Cheers, everyone. We will see you tomorrow or tonight.